Taking you live now where a parliamentary inquiry is getting underway. The Chief Executive Officer of Investment New South Wales, Amy Brown, is the sole witness. Let's listen in live. Public servants are usually anonymous in the background and not star witnesses at politically charged inquiries. I swear that the evidence now about to be given by me should be the truth. But Amy Brown, the head of government agency Investment New South Wales, has found herself a key witness in a growing scandal engulfing the New South Wales coalition government. Minister Barillaro uh, intervenes to get the process changed and then he walks out with the job. Can you give us the reasons as to why we should not consider that to be a highly suspicious chain of events? Amy Brown signed off on John Barillaro's half a million dollar job in New York only months after the former Deputy Premier resigned from Parliament. We know we can grow our market share abroad. In 2019, John Barillaro announced the creation of six new trade envoys across the world, including the one he's now secured in New York City. How this eventuated is now coming in for forensic scrutiny. Last July, four candidates were interviewed as part of an initial recruitment process already underway. Jenny West, a former manager at Westpac and Telstra and the Deputy Secretary at Investment New South Wales, was informally offered the role. Did you ever contact her to congratulate her for getting the role? I did. But Amy Brown soon became worried about interference in her independent employment process. I was concerned that the Deputy Premier's office would feel they had veto rights. In early September, one of John Barillaro's personal staff inquired about whether the appointment process could be changed. Did he in any way convey that this was a request from the Deputy Premier himself? Um, yes. Amy Brown told today's inquiry that John Barillaro successfully lobbied Cabinet to change the roles to ministerial appointments. Mr Barillaro soon resigned as a minister. His replacement, Stuart Ayres, paused implementing that decision. But by this stage, the top candidate, Jenny West, was no longer in the running. The relationship declined quite quickly um, once she was informed that she may not be going to New York. The relationship with the candidate was irreconcilable. But another candidate in the first round of recruitment, Rob Fitzpatrick, had also been found suitable. Why didn't you just go to the number two candidate? Given months had passed, I, my preference as hiring manager was to relaunch the process and see who applied. The job was re-advertised and John Barillaro applied. But after interviews, he was only ranked second amongst the candidates, today's hearing heard until after a meeting between the top-ranked contender and the minister overseeing the portfolio, Stuart Ayres. I wanted to see how that person uh, presented themselves to a minister to see whether or not um, they were likely to have the confidence of the minister in that scenario. Um, and I, I was present at the meeting and by the end of that meeting I had concluded that they were not a good fit for the role. Once the ministers take a role, in relation to the independent process, then you, um, you know, questions are to be asked. We'll have to ask Mr Ayres um, what it was that made him decide to interview this person. Uh, once again, it's murky. John Barillaro has formally started in the three-year role. The inquiry continues as the former Deputy Premier prepares to fly out within weeks. The Premier needs to show some leadership here and make sure that John Barillaro doesn't jet off to Manhattan. John Barillaro declined to comment. You can find a statement from Investment New South Wales on our website. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.